Welcome back to the Tech Zone. ABC News KMET on your radio dial, streaming on live stream, YouTube, you name it. iHeart. What else? What else? iTunes do. And uh, we are giving you a rundown of what we were able to accomplish over at Comic Con 2017. Some of the great interviews, other great people you've been listening and, and watching. Uh, some of the great interviews. We got invited to a very unique press room, and it was for a new show. And that's one thing about Comic-Con. That's a place where uh, new shows can come and to build up some fan support and get us members of the media to to talk about it. There's a new sci-fi show. It's called Medina. Now, Medina is really unique. It was filmed entirely in Qatar, in the Middle East, the first ever sci-fi drama uh, to be able to be shot in Qatar. And it has some wonderful actors who are involved in this project. And over the next few weeks, we will be playing interviews uh, from from all the actors uh, who are involved in this project. But what we wanted to do in this segment I was introduced you to two actors who is involved in this project and uh, some of the experiences. And I'm with all world actor extraordinaire Eric Roberts. How you doing, Eric? I'm great today, man. It's it's great to be here. Eric, it is great to interview you. I, out of all the people I interviewed, I always wanted to interview, you and I finally get a chance to do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have a great life and a lot of fun, so thank you very much. Awesome. So, Eric. When we look at this new sci-fi uh, series right here, and when you got the call that you were going to be one of the main actors, what went through your mind? Well, I'll be honest with you. I said yes to this project because it was in Qatar, and I had never seen Qatar. So I said yes because of location. Okay, we got there. I met the owner of the studio and the creator of the show. Fell in love with the guy, Ahmed Al Baker cool cat, smart cat, very talented, very, very, very gifted mind. So we hung out. But uh, it was hot there, so hot, 125, 25 degrees by 11 o'clock in the morning, hot. Okay, but this guy has a dream and, and, uh, and a movie studio that's every, every movie geek's fantasy. It's so cool. And he's a cool guy. So because of that, I went back had the greatest time. We made a really good piece, and it's a piece that's never been seen before. It's very unusual, and it's going to blow people's minds. And one of the things that really intrigued me was that this is the first sci-fi series that takes place, like you said, in Qatar, in, in the Middle East. Yeah. And how is filming out in Qatar different from filming out in Hollywood or our other locations, Canada? Well, besides being hot, everything in Qatar is brought from somewhere else. So. Uh, it's not like home where you have access to everything. You have to plan in Qatar. And they're a very rich country, so they do have everything, but it has to be brought in. And uh, you don't have access to everything every day. So, Eric, when we look at that challenge right there, did you have to, like, you're a pro, but did you have to, like, dig deep and say, okay, this is a little bit different from me being in Hollywood? And I kind of maybe rough it a little bit or walk us through that. I'll be honest with you. Roughing it, you know, for me, is having a different brand of toilet paper. I'm the luckiest cat I've ever met. I have the best life I've ever heard about. And, and I have no complaints whatsoever. And when I have to do without, I run out of toothpaste, whatever it is. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I'm the luckiest cat I've ever known. And I got the best wife, the best marriage, the best career, the best family. I got it made, dude. Yes, you do, my friend. And uh, let's talk about your character now. Sure. Let, let, let ones know um, a little bit about your character because today the series actually debuted here live at Comic Con. Yes, so did. we got a chance to watch the pilot. So let's talk about your character. My guy is an every man's man. He's not tough. He's not. He's not a bad guy. Uh, he's an ordinary kind of a cat, and uh, but he gets put in these extraordinary circumstances and he does not become heroic he um, his uh, his 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 weakness shows and his fears show and uh, he's not the man I would like to be in life 
but he's not a bad guy. And why I enjoyed playing him is uh, he starts one way and he becomes another and then he becomes another because of the circumstances. And that was a lot of fun for me. And Eric, was it fun playing a series where you were, I guess, in the, in the future? Because this, this series takes place um, decades in the future. And what was kind of like the, the view uh, of the future that they were going to check out? Well, uh, it's a future, but I got to say, it's a future in the desert. Not a lot changes in the desert from day to day, I got to warn you. But uh, yeah, we, uh, you uh, have to wrap your head around, around time in a whole other way to play stuff that hasn't happened yet. So Eric, being at Comic-Con, talk about that experience. Uh, uh, have you had a chance to walk around and see some of the cool uh, different costumes? I've not seen anything except this room and the, and the big room out there. But, uh, but, but Comic-Con is the, is, the, is the creme de la creme of these things. This is it. So, so we're here to take part. Eric, it's been an honor talking to you, my friend, and, and having you. Uh, looking forward to this series going a long time, my friend. Thank you, buddy. Thanks so much. I'm with Ro Brooks. What's going on, Ro? Oh, man, what's going on? Man, it is so good to see you here at Sci-Fi. Likewise. Thanks a lot, man. You know, talk about being in Qatar, you know, for, for many months. First thing I can say, it was a culture shock. You know, I, this was my first time actually being out of the country. So to go to another country over 8,000 miles away and to see all these other beautiful people, man, with these different cultures and, you know, the way that they dress and their language, Arabic, and it was just a culture shock. And it's just such a beautiful place, man. It's gorgeous, like a really beautiful place. Now, I was reading up on your, on your character. Okay. You work for the government now, don't yeah, you? Yeah, man. I'm CIA all day. <laughs> yeah. So what, what did you do to research that, uh, that character? Well, I'm from the hood, so I, I didn't have to do a lot of research because I'm from the hood, so I know how the, the uh, FBI, CIA, uh, local police department, I know how they work basically. So, um, you know, I just tried to take what I already knew and what I saw, you know, just from uh, growing up in the hood or just, you know, just growing up in general, and I took, put that into my character. And now, Ro, you have your beautiful daughter with you? Yes, this is Israel. Are you, are, you, are you proud of your dad? <laughs> yes, I'm very proud. Now, did you miss him in Qatar? Yeah, I did. I was waiting for him to come home, but like, the, the longest. <laughs> that is awesome. Your dad's a marvelous actor. Uh, some of my colleagues and everything, we were like, we didn't see him on Haves and Have Not this season. I'm like, where he at? Right. He's in Qatar, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. did an upgrade, my friend. Yeah, my man. Thank you so much. So, so, so talk about um, your character and what is one episode you're looking forward to seeing where it really showcased all your talents? Uh, honestly, it's hard, it's hard to say. I mean, I love the, the entire show. Um, I was blessed in this show because they, they've given me so much. Um, my character continues to rise. And each episode, and I, I, I'm, I'm introduced in episode two. So from there on, I'm through the entire season. But my, my character has such a... Oh, an awesome plot, man. It's, it's really crazy. But let me tell you this much. I'm a CIA agent, and um, I'm coming from the States to come to Qatar to look for my partner. My partner's missing. So I come to find him. And once, I, once I come to find him, I find another situation where someone needs my help. So I assist this person with what he needs. At the same time, I'm looking for my partner, and it builds up, and it builds up. I, I can't give the story away, but it's a phenomenal plot. Yes, phenomenal storyline. I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And being a part of a sci-fi production, yes. how's that different from being part of a, a straight drama? Well, for one, it's a lot of CGI. You know, um, it's a lot of uh, 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 facial expressions in front of things that aren't there. So you have really have to be a really good actor or a good pretender to know how to make the audience feel as though you're looking at something that's not really there. So that's, that's the biggest difference for me because this also is a drama. So I keep that along with, you know, the expressions of seeing these characters that aren't really there. Yeah. Now, now being from Baltimore in the hood, right. being out in Qatar. It's an avenue, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All day, yeah. Baltimore Ravens, right? Believe it. 
Uh, yeah. So so when it comes to shooting out there in 130 degrees. 140. 140. 140 and counting, yes. I lost like 10 pounds. Man, yeah. how did you deal with that? I had the slightest idea. It was so hot. Qatar in general is hot. But remind you, we shot on the actual desert as well. So it was extremely hot. We drank water after water after water after water. That's the only thing that got us through. Drinking a lot of water, wearing a lot of sunglasses and head wraps. Yes. Wow. So, so when you got a chance to see the premiere today here at Comic Con live, were, were, were you checking out the, the fan reaction and did it exceed your expectations? It exceeded my expectations. I expected it to be nice because I know who I'm working with, but it went through the roof. I heard the fans, I didn't know it was a sold out room. The whole room was packed. That in itself let you know, or let me know that this show is definitely a hit. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away with what happened, man. You know, what went down in the show and how it all came together. Paul, Ray, he is my favorite. <laughs> yes. That's my man, him yes. Weezy. Ro, 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 he is. I him love Weezy. him. I love him. Yes, my man. Believe I was waiting for this moment, guys. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> yes, he actually That's was. Yeah, he was waiting until we filmed. He was like, are we filming yet? Are we filming yet? That's yeah, my yeah, man. Yeah. That's him one. Yeah. No, but it, but, but, but it really sounds like Ro. That uh, that this series, man, is like, a, correct me if I'm wrong, like a dream come true for you. It is, man, because I like to stretch um, my talent. You know, I like to I like to check my range and see. It's a, it was a challenge to see how far you can go and to still make it a believable situation. And like you said, um, it's sci-fi, so that's a challenge. And then it was shot in another country, so that was a gift, and it was a vacation at the same time. So. When, when we're off, we get to have great times together as a cast. We travel, we got on boats, we went on cruises, we got on Camelback. We did a lot of things together. So what more can I say, man? It was, it was a, definitely a blessing from God. Well, great talking to you, my friend, and much success. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, man. All right, great God talking bless. to you. All right, thank you. We like, to, we like to thank Eric Roberts and also Ro Brooks for uh, opening up to us what it's like to shoot this show in Qatar 140 degrees folks would you do that we also have some cameo uh, appearances in the interview uh, we had a uh, rose uh, lovely daughter Israel and also him rock <laughs> Tawari international actor you gotta stay tuned for his for his uh, interview we're gonna play him on the next show he was amazing we were dancing at the uh, the premiere uh, they had over at the Hyatt if you follow me on social media you can see us <laughs> dancing the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> yes, you can. Fun cast, uh, fun group of people. We wish them much success. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted on when and where you can watch Met. We'll be back. More show after these messages.